Hello everybody, this is Out of the Box Unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to review for you the Silvercrest uh, USB video grabber from uh, Silvercrest available in Lidl. This um, uh, USB video grabber is for easily, it's allowing you to digitalize your analog video records. Uh, it could be used for uh, various formats uh, such as VHS, Video 8, uh, HI and 8 and etc. What you get is a complete set with cables, adapters for mm, any type of the device that you are uh, most likely have in your home or at your home so you can play on your or, or your old um, VHS and then uh, record and this way uh, actually to grab this video and to digitalize it on your computer it's very mm, I, I would say easy to do it so what you need is a computer with USB uh, port and um, later on I will show you the minimum requirements in terms of uh, software and also in terms of hardware for such uh, device. Also as a package is a software from Silvercrest. Uh, only what you need to do is um, install on your computer. Um, one thing which is um, I mean strange it could be supplied on the USB stick in those days not so many computers have uh, CD-ROMs okay as for minimum requirements uh, let's double check the uh, software but uh, it's suitable with uh, Windows 10 Windows 8 and uh, also with uh, Windows Vista. Uh, sorry, Windows, uh, Windows Vista, yes. It's not um, suitable with uh, Windows XP, which is for me s small uh, disappointment because uh, Windows XP, even if it's not supported anymore by Windows, it's still very popular system and uh, as especially people older people that have uh, uh, VHS uh, videos most likely also could have an uh, old computer so for them CD uh, with uh, software it's okay uh, but uh, uh, for future it would be better to have it on the USB stick uh, you could or you can also use this uh, uh, key number to the software. I hope uh, there will be no claim from Silvercrest that uh, somebody will use the, s uh, the same key uh, because this, uh, s this software ha is included uh, in set. So if somebody have lost this key, okay. What we what we have uh, as a package as a package. As you uh, can see, uh, four different cables, adapter, and most important part, this USB uh, plug. Uh, to and this is the, the only thing that is uh, connected to your computer. Rest is uh, connected via mini USB port with analog cables. And, uh, plenty of adjustments this is the USB. some adapters for analog uh, video uh, recorders video players the same with this is uh, as far as I remember Euro connection additional cable extend extension uh, USB extension for uh, uh, USB plug and yes um, okay what is also important uh, it's a hardware now I will find and show you minimum requirements in terms of uh, 
hardware because uh, okay software is one thing but uh, hardware uh, the minimum requirements or minimum uh, features of your computers are also important only what uh, one of the basic things is uh, of course USB which is in those days uh, very common and let's find out the uh, hardware minimum requirements uh, it should be Pentium 4 class not lower and that gives you a computer that is 10 years or more old so it's not a high requirement in terms of hardware you can easily fulfill those minimum requirements but let's um, double check of course uh, in the new movie description you will find the link to this manual you will be able also to check by your own what is uh, what is the whole mm, manual of how to connect uh, the analog player with computer and minimum requirements as well where they are. okay here they are so uh, as i mentioned pentium 4 3 gigahertz um, quite decent nothing nothing special actually okay Win windows 7 S sorry not um, not vista anymore if i was mistaken with that so windows 7 it's quite new uh, so it's a pity that it's not supporting windows axp or vista if you look into statistics Vista is and, and XP especially quite popular system uh, USB 2 and 3 which is ok 5 gi gigabytes of RAM ROMs are less and less po uh, popular, especially if you are talking about computers that have uh, Windows 10 on board. In, uh, in those days, really, uh, CD-ROM player is a very, very rare uh, feature. So, actually, if you don't have a USB stick, it might be a problem for you. So, either you will uh, buy an uh, external CD player or ask somebody to uh, copy it for you so I really think it's a very okay system if you like it please uh, share your opinion with me as always and thank you for watching stay tuned and see you next time I wish you all the best using while using this, uh, this uh, USB video browser Stay tuned, see you next time, bye!